is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Uh, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so, and uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and growling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 224, NASDAQ off 27, S&P's down 11. Gold, gold contract down $12.10, trading at 2,041 an ounce. We got silver down 37 cents, 22 dollars 42 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 52 cents, 72 dollars 80 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note down 28 ticks, trading 110.25. The 30 years off a full point plus 24 ticks at 120.05. 10 year is yielding 4.160 in King Dollar. King Dollar straightened up 554 ticks. 104, 474, Euro 107, Yen 148, British Pound 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, once again, you just don't have sellers, man. You know, you take a look at this S&P. First, if we go into the... S&P futures, the contract, what you're going to see is that you got all the way down to 49.37. You rejected lower price. You get, you're at 32 points above that. You're down 10. And then if we get into the SPY and you take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see is that you back down. You rejected $490.23. And see this contraction of volume? That's what it's all about, man. So you did both. You rejected lower price. The contraction and volume is a big one, man, because if you're going to get any follow through, that's where it should come from, and you get zero. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup inside the NDX, the three Qs. What you're going to see with the three Qs, the three Qs pushing Friday on volume, had uh, 80, no, 90, 59 million shares. 59 million shares pushing into the 45 million shares at highs. You back down today with 32, so we'll probably do 40. You get to 425, same setup. Rejects lower price, has lighter volume. That's a market that wants higher price. And in particular, this is what is really wild here. And this is, you know, this has been such an intriguing market, and you can learn so much from it because at big cycle turns, which we have, meaning the interest rate structure, this is where notes, Bonds, dollar, commodities, market all come together. And what you're going to see out here inside the dollar, you know, the dollar has been basically relentless, you know, building cars going sideways. Was it going to fall apart? Well, who knows? The bottom line is that now it's going to go for the 0.618 retracement of the whole move down from four months ago. Right now it's up 566 at 104. 482. Now, that being said, what that doll is telling me is that, number one, we'll probably go for it, but you're not going to hold it. 
And the reason I'm saying that is that the bond market is number one. So if we go over to the bond market, what you're going to see is this. Now, the bond market didn't hold price today. That being said, you still have this contraction of volume that's happening. We've done 1.2 million contracts right now. Well, you're going into 3.2 million, 3 million contracts. Okay? That ain't even close as to, and that's what markets love to do. They break topside, drive everyone crazy, pull back down, lighter volume, if they reject lower price, then you're going higher. And that's what this market wants. And, and what I mean by the, these larger cycles, which is cool, is that there's more than one place that you can check your work. And so in the gold market, see, you can also check your work. Why? Because the bottom line is that when you have the dollar up like this, when you have bonds that are going with higher yield, the gold market should be smoked. And it's not. It went down to 2030.80 today. It reject lower price. It's going to have lighter volume after we went topside last week with volume. Start putting that all together. And what that says is that higher prices are coming at us, period. You know, it's, it's, the rates are not going to be a linear move, as I said, but it's going to be choppy. But guess what? The market knows. The buyers know. You know, of course, we're all still in the speculative business, but, you know, these, these larger cycles, you don't, you don't get to see a lot of them. Well, you can see what hadn't ended up happening. You know, when you really look at it, <sighs> rates are 14.5% when I was 22 years old, right? I'm 73 years old. At 71 years old, they were zero. They go from zero to, let's say, five and a half on the 10-year, right? And now you're going to have that cycle turn once again. So it's, it's, the whole thing is wild, watching how this whole thing shakes out. We take a look at the higher volume equities out here today. Oh, Tesla. Tesla's on its way down to this uh, 108. Here, take a look at Tesla. This is, there's, there's some heat here in Tesla, man. Tesla, I think, is at 180 today. Yeah, 179, down eight bucks. But you can see it's sticking out like a sore thumb. Let me pull this over here. And there she is. Look at this. That last low that was established in Tesla, and that's at 10, yeah, 101, 101, yeah, 101. Um, it's a high volume low. It's gonna go after that high volume low. You get a you get a picture. I mean, Musk, he got out at 400, 410. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Now yeah, even where it is right now, 180. You know, big, 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 big numbers. No, no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading down to 257. You have the Nasdaq off 43, S and P's are off 15, Gold's off uh, 1260. You get the silver market off 38. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industries right now is trading now 233. We'll get the NASDAQ off 39. S&P's off 13 and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under the featured content. You just hit Mastering Probability. You can get it for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So you're not only going to get the newsletter, but what Steve has over there, he's done a huge amount of work on all the different tools that he used, and you get all of those tools also. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Just enjoying life, although I wish it was a little bit warmer outside. I'm telling you, man, this has been a strange six weeks, hasn't it? Yeah, for us, it was quite a, quite a weekend. The weather on Friday was so-so. Saturday was as beautiful as you can get. And yesterday was just, you know, all kinds of storms coming in and out. But Yeah, uh, we've had we, cold we weather. Well, yeah, we for you, you and I, we're, we're finishing up football and golf's going to be starting. So it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> the golf is going. You know, they, uh, they played out at Pebble Beach this weekend. They got delayed. Uh, I know. They shortened the round because of rain or what have you. So like yesterday, there wasn't much on. But, I, you know, again, I turned on the live tour. And I just don't really have that same endearing. You know, I love watching those players, but yep. it's just to me, it's just not the same. I know. It's definitely not the same. And no, it, I it agree. It yeah. hasn't drawn me into it. So it'll be interesting to see how all this plays out. But, it it uh, really is, man. You talk, you, talk, you talk about playing with some big money, huh? I mean, all oh, around. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, oh, yeah, totally. absolutely. Hey, Tom, are you a fan of the Beach Boys? Did you go see the Beach oh, Boys yeah. at all? Were you, yeah, you I did? love the Beach okay. Boys. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So I thought today, you know, their, they, their debut album came out, the Surf and Safari album came out in uh, 1962. Okay. They were searching for waves. We're going to go searching today for the uh, waves in the stock market. We're going to go it. try to find the uh, big one, all right? So Good. I thought that's what we would do out Let's there. Let's do that. I love the Beach Boys, too. So just the, the music, for whatever reason, is you know, sometimes you get some music in your in your ears, your mind. It it's, just doesn't go away. It's for a while. so happy music, man. It's unbelievable, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So their album debuted 62 years ago. Hard to believe, huh? Uh, 62 years ago. Damn. And uh, we're looking at the 96 year annual seasonal cycle chart for the S and P 500. So we're going to focus just today on the S and P 500. Now, the cool thing about this chart here. 
It's helped us just to try to understand just the normal wave pattern, at least over this time period, inside the S&P 500. What we can see here, and what I would like people to focus on, is really the little panel in the very bottom right-hand side. The cool yes. thing about okay. this, Tom, is it shows us by month what the typical results are. Now, I haven't gotten caught up into, you know, if you've got one month that just really outpaces the prior months, you know, is is that does that mean that that month we're going to see volume? Instead, I'm looking at this as, as an up month or a down month, yes. just as simple as can be. Yes. And what we can see here is over a 96-year period, we typically see the unfavorable time periods being February, which we're in right now, okay. May, and September. Well, I also want to just simply point out, as I go through these slides with you and everybody else, is that January here, over the 96-year seasonal cycle, January is a month that trades higher. And we know that our January traded much higher. Yes. So that's the first thing. So that's a 96-year seasonal cycle. We can take that same 96-year seasonal cycle and just limit it to the presidential election years. And those are all the boxes that are checked here. Again, what I want to do is focus on that bottom right-hand corner, which shows that January did trade higher. Also shows here February's lower, May's lower, typically September, October, and uh, December out there. Now, both these patterns here, because January traded higher, I consider these patterns from the wave standpoint to be in play out here. So whether it's this, the presidential seasonal cycle, because we did have January uh, trade up, I think that this is in play. If I take a look at the 96-year bullish seasonal cycle, so the folks here at SeasonX, they've identified those all the, all the years that are checked here, years that are just simply bullish. We can see here the interesting thing is that, if, again, if we look at the lower right, we'll see that February is the worst performing month. Now, January did close higher here, so I'm going to say that these three, the 96-year cycle patterns are definitely in play. Which one of them is it? That that we don't know just yet, but they're definitely in play. Sometimes people might say, and I was out to dinner over the weekend on Saturday night with a good friend, and he said, you know, 96 years just might be too much. How about 25 years? So, Here's the 25-year annual seasonal cycle. What we can see here is January moves lower, so does February. So I'm saying that these, this 25-year seasonal cycle pattern isn't really in play because January closed lower out here. And if we take that same 25-year uh, uh, seasonal time frame, we can also go to the election cycle. But it only gives us really seven you know, data points, yes. only seven years here, Tom. But even over that period of time, we can see that both January and February had finished lower out there. So I'm saying that this pattern is like not in play. If we go take a look at the 25-year bullish seasonal cycle chart out here, we can see that January is typically traded lower. So I don't really think that is in play out here. If we take a look and just minimize it to a five-year time frame, January, February, March are lower. Well, our January is higher. So I'm saying this wave is out of the equation right now. I and like so how you're breaking this down. Right? Yeah. So if we now summarize all of this, we just take a look at the wave structure over the, in this case here, we've limited, we've, we've identified that perhaps it's a 96 year cycle patterns are in place out, in play out here. So I've got the presidential seasonal cycle up here on the right hand side. And what this shows is that we should expect or anticipate if in fact, this is the analog, February would trade lower. We get a nice rally into March, a couple move, uh, move lower, a couple, a couple of month move lower into May. And then we start the rally into the August timeframe. If we're following this bullish period here, which after listening to your opening, right of, of what's going on inside the markets and the volume scenario and everything yeah and that prices want much higher prices out there well this says you know february's maybe kind of choppy almost really sounded like when you were speaking that's and right I was looking at this chart i'm like geez tom's talking about the 96 year bullish cycle that's out there yes uh, in the marketplace so i really think it's one of those two cycles right now that is in uh, play out here so what's all that mean? Well, if we take a look at the S&P 500, a retracement is not guaranteed out here. But if we do take a look at the S&P 500, and the reason why I say that is when I take a look at the S&P 500, how it is trading, how it is priced in euros, yen, pounds, Australian dollars, Swedish krona, those are at all new time highs today. They are, huh? So when you wow. say there's no sellers, you know, wow. the, the sellers that are in the market are being consumed by this group of traders. It's the folks that are sitting over in Europe, whether in the UK, whether you're in Paris or what have you, those people are looking at our markets and saying, this is, the, this is great. We're in breakout modes in yep. terms of their currency pairs. And even in terms of the Swiss franc and Chinese one and the Canadian loonie, we can see these nice uptrends that are out here. Yes. So there's a lot of international buyers that we have. Now, if the S&P 500 
does move lower into uh, February. The price target that I would have to the downside is the actual low for the year, and that's at 46.82. This chart here, Tom, identifies the low or the high that comes in the first week, the first two weeks of uh, January out here. And we can see, going back to 2023, we can see that when price did pull back, it really pulled back to that level, and then it continued to move higher. In 2022, it was never, even, it never even looked back, right? It was just a continued move to the downside. In 2021, where I've got this 3662 level again we can see that we had a pullback but it never busted through that level out there so folks i would suggest watching 4682 if we get a pullback out there and this chart the final one tom just to match what you were saying in the beginning this has the s p 500 on a monthly basis targeting the 5300 area out there and we're at 4970 folks you can see all the great tools folks that steve has out here it's really easy to get his newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into featured content. You had hit master in probability, and you're going to be very happy you did. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take Thank care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. Com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. It's our Dow Industrials right now, but uh, down 140, 184. NASDAQ's off 19. S&P's are off 7.5. Let's go inside the Dow and take a look at the strength versus the weakness here, point-wise. See what we got here. So point wise, you got Big Mac is uh, putting 74 negative points in. United Health uh, 38, uh, Microsoft uh, 38. Positive po points, Caterpillar. They come out with their numbers. That's putting positive 47. Sales 417. Apple 16. Nothing heavy there. That's for sure. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. 
And inside the end of the X, you got, uh, what is that, on semi? Yeah, on semi. Oh, so on semi is up 9.5%. You got IDEX Pharmaceutical up 8%. Wow, man. I, this is amazing because I remember IDEX Pharmaceutical so well. This is a company in Maine. I'm going back now to 1994. Yeah, still right there, Westbrook, Maine. Hey, want to see something, folks? Okay, this is where, you know, and we get a lot of biotech traders inside our Tiger's Den. If you haven't test driven the Tiger's Den, well, Forget test driving. It's only a dollar to get in. Come over there. But now I'm going to show you something here. So this was 1996. Let's go back. Uh, so what's that? 23. That's 30 years. Hey, watch this. When you see this, you're going to crack up. This is when IDEX just started. Five bucks. Yeah, five dollars. And the, the what had happened is that I had a couple of guys in my office that were from Maine. They were blueberry farmers, actually. And they invested in this, and I, I pray to the Lord that they kept it. Uh, so it stayed five dollars. Got to ten. Yeah, look at this. How long it took, though. Okay, so that's ninety-four. Yeah, that's ninety-four. Went down to three, actually. Ninety-four by two thousand fifteen. It was fifty. So it was fifty-seven. And then you can see, over the amount of time, though, if you hit something right. You can get it really right. Let's see. So what do, the, what do they take in? They take in, oh, my God, look at that number, $4 billion. I forgot what they did. They, because at the very beginning, they provide diagnostic detection information system for veterinary food water testing applications. The company operates an international network of veterinary reference laboratories, IDEX products, and customers worldwide. Yeah, bottom line is that... Uh, it takes a while, but guess what? <laughs> when, you, when you get an aspect of a $5 stock and all of a sudden, 25 years later, 30 years later, it's a $500 stock, they can see how some of this wealth gets, uh, gets pushed out here. There's no two ways about it. We gotta take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at platinum out here and see what's happening with the platinum market. So platinum spot market. So we're still at, 900. You get four higher lows, though. So this wants to try to get out of there. Copper is the thing, folks, okay? My take is that you have these copper stocks that are really strong, and copper itself wants to go to this 404. Right now, you're trading 377. Um, you can see a rejected lower price today at 376. You trade in 377. You did 95,000 contracts. We pull this in. Yeah, that one's higher price. And if we go to SCCO, what you're going to see, this is a leader out here. I rejected 78 bucks today. I mean, this had this had a nice run. I mean, this is going to. It already broke its highs. I expect the next run up is going to break them again. Yeah, you can see what's happening up here. And then TGB to Seiko, this is a, now this is a smaller equity, but it, they have plenty of copper. And this actually was, it trades the same as SCCO. Uh, you're at 135, I think it's 195 this is going for right now. Yeah, that's swing point up there. What is that? Well, that's swing points, two bucks. 260. Yeah, the first one's, yeah, the first one's 190. This is on, the, the, this one's going to get interesting because it's a personality stock, number one. Yeah, see that? It did break it, though. It broke its downtrend to, well, that's 240. It broke its downtrend. To, if, you, if you're watching Tiger TV, what you're going to see, see that expansion of volume on the monthly, last month? I mean, this is when they stick out that dramatically. That's how you have to break a trend line to sustain higher price. That's, you know, the Wyckoff sign of strength extraordinaire. You get wide price spread, you get the accelerated volume, and then more than likely what's going to happen, it's going to come back and test the trend line again and then take off. So, um, 
the big cats out there last week. Let's go see what Amazon's doing. Amazon come out with numbers. Market like the numbers there. Yeah, they're staying higher. You got uh, Microsoft. I think it's down four or five dollars, but this thing wants higher price. Yeah, it's down five bucks. Meta. Meta is just something else, man. This is like, <laughs> and the expansion on Meta is something else, meaning from the lows to the highs. Yeah, so with Meta, what's going to happen with Meta is that if you do own Meta, you're going to have to watch out for this monster gap because gaps like getting filled. It does, you know, it doesn't mean it's going to get filled in a week or six months or a year, but you want to keep your eyes open on that. We go to ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil rejected $100 today or at 101980 What this is all about, this is all about the Permian Basin, and this is about them buying Pioneer, and they're going to be pumping a lot of oil, man. Well, let's put it this way. They're going to be pumping oil if, let's go to the oil contract, at the price that they feel that their profits are going to be worth it to pump oil. So the oil market rejected $71 out here at $72.81. And I don't, I don't see this market moving a lot. And the reason being is that you can see all the political turmoil that we have out here. And the market hasn't moved. And one of the main reasons that it hasn't moved is that the way that uh, Exxon and Chevron plan on dealing with the Permian Basin right now is drilling the holes and not fracking them. And that's the best of all worlds because what ends up happening is that you have the holes drilled, you want to frack them, fracking takes no time. I'm talking days, folks, okay? And then all of a sudden, bang, you get oil. So what they're going to do, instead of glutting the market, you know, the bottom line is that we're punch the, the Permian Basin is pushing as much out as OPEC is right now. That's how, that's how dramatic it is, okay? So what they'll do is that you drill all the wells that you don't want to drill, whatever that budget is. If the oil market basically takes off another $10 or whatever their price is that they want, that they'll start saying, okay, I'm going to push more oil out. That's what you're going to see. But you can see also that for the actual price of oil, that's going to keep a lid on the price of oil. Because if the price of oil hasn't gone to 90 bucks right now for the amount of turmoil we have across the world, I just don't see it happening, man. I see the fluctuation, and that's a trading fluctuation. That's all that really is. Dow's are down 1894. Nasdaq's up 30. S&P's down 10. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is off 220, Nasdaq's off 32, S&Ps are off 12. We're going to send some white light out to all our traders out in the L.A. market, folks. You know, between L.A., Santa Barbara, Montesino, uh, they're getting, man, this is pretty intense. So check this out, man. So yesterday... In downtown L.A., they got four inches of rain, which broke the record from 1927. And an additional 10 inches are falling in different parts of that region. Now, the problem that you have with the Santa Barbara, Montezino, um, beautiful out there, extraordinary out there, actually, um, is that the mountains there, folks, okay, are almost like deserts. So as they were building, you know, I'm talking about the last 50, 100 years, as you're building up the mountains, you put roads in between them. The roads in between them, okay, that's like taking, a, let's say, if we were building a building. Well, each road in between that makes the structure less sturdy and secure. So every one of those roads that are going back and forth, if you've ever been there, you know what I'm talking about. It's just winding all the way up. It's a huge problem. And they're going to get the worst of it actually tomorrow. You know, so we'll see how this uh, shakes out. But they got, they got some heavy stuff coming at them. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Super Bowl-wise, this is going to be fun <laughs> coming into Las Vegas next Sunday. Uh, no doubt about that, whether, you know, you get the 49ers and the, the Chiefs. So we'll see how this whole thing's going to shake out. The thing that's amazing, actually, when you look at the NFL, think about this for a second. If you remember, the NFL, I mean, they were hell-bent not to have gambling, right? And all of that changed when the Supreme Court, of course, came in and said, hey, man, no, no, you, you these states can have gambling. It's just not going to be divvied, divvied up the way it's been divvied up. So that was the first part of the change. The second part of the change got even heavier. And what it is, is that when you definitely do watch, you know, football, if you happen to watch the NFL, um, you are going to see that the amount of betting and the amount of advertising that gets done is insane. Now, what does that do? So check out what it does. This is pretty cool. This, this is an article on Bloomberg or the Wall Street Journal. One or the other was on uh, Sunday. And what it is is this. So the average football player, uh, no, football listener, folks, is over 50 years old. The average bettors are from 30, I think, 30, I think they said 30 to 44 years old. And... Once the NFL did a study on this, they realized that they're going to get all these young people engaged in the game by these different sporting apps. And so this is the first year that actually the 
listenership went up pretty dramatically. I think it went up 8%. And it totally makes sense too, man, because, you know, the bottom line, I haven't opened, you know, one of those uh, gaming apps to, to, to gamble on it, because we gamble enough every freaking day right here. <laughs> um, but I, I know I'm gonna. <laughs> That's, you know, normally, um, I normally just bet on the Super Bowls, you know, you, you do the squares, you know what I mean? And you know why that is, folks? Okay, why that is, and you've probably heard the story before, uh, depending on how long you listen. Well, growing up in South Boston, that was the gambling mecca of the world. Uh, every big city has, you know, gambling in a, in a monster way. And I saw so many people lose so much. I used to look at them saying, what are you out of your mind, man? I, I didn't even, I couldn't even get it clear in my head why you would do something like that. But anyway, you know, even at that point growing up, you had the numbers game and then you had football. And of course you had basketball and that, but football was the biggest one. And what the bookies would let the players, not the players, the, I guess the clients do, is that you would start off on the weekend, right? You start off on college football, win, lose, because we always everyone had credit, okay? Because if you didn't pay, they'd break your legs, okay? So you start off on the weekend, you win, lose, whatever. You go into Sunday, you're hoping wherever it is, either you're trying to make up or break up. And then Monday would be the, the get-go. Uh, what I mean by the get-go is that that was the last day, even though if, even, even when Thursday night football came in, wherever you were on Monday night, you had to pay that VIG on Tuesday. That's how it worked. And, man, I'll tell you, I could tell you some stories that'll blow your freaking mind, man. It blew me. And these, these are kids I grew up with, and it's like, oh, my God, I don't believe it. And, you know, I was always a risk taker, and a lot of these kids weren't risk takers, but they were risk takers in the football market. I mean, there was something about the football market that brings them in. And I suspect now that's in that gambling, all those gambling apps, it's the same type of setup that, you know, you can see in order th for them to get customers, you can see they're spending a lot of money because uh, when you get uh, Gronk, uh, I forget which one he's hawking out there, but I think you put five bucks in and they give you another $150. Well, you know any business in their right mind. If they're going to put $5 in, you get another 150 Number one, you know they're going to get it back. And number two, it's like, okay, what a business this is, man, right? Um, what, what did also happen is this, is that the, the, what the NFL did do, which was smart, is that they went over to Europe and saw how the gambling works over there. Um, and one of the biggest things in this article, listen to this, man, this is hilarious. All the prop bets on the side, right? What they figured out is that you couldn't have prop bets on the officiating of the game because it's too easy to, you know, basically fix the game. Well, this actually happened over in England, I believe. And what it was is it was a prop bet that someone would eat like a taco on the line you know, on the, in the seventh, uh, I, I forget, it wasn't the seventh inning, but at a certain time, and what ended up happening, the fix was in. What ended up happening is that, sure enough, what ends up happening, some guy eats this thing on the, on the sideline at the exact time, and that's when they changed all the rules over in Europe that any type of officiating or that you're depending on one person, none of those bets, that's why you don't see those types of bets, because you can imagine, I mean, you could just throw games left and right, right? And which, the amount of money that, that's in there, you know, like I suspect that's exactly what would be happening. And, you know, if you've been to Vegas, you know that on a continual basis, everyone always tries to beat Vegas, and guess what? Just look at all the buildings out there. You don't beat Vegas, folks, okay? You go to Vegas for a good time, Good night out, but don't think you can beat them. It's not like the stock market, man. There's not, you know, a buyer or seller on each side. There's, it's all about the spreads. 
Right now, you get the Dow down to 20, NASDAQ off 18, S&P's down 11. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 237. You get the Nasdaq off 19. S&Ps are off 12 and a half. Let's go. I want to go over to China for a second because, you know, Every day you wake up in the morning, and what they were saying on a continual basis is that the government's going to come in and save the stock market, right? And the, it's impossible. <laughs> that's the thing that's amazing to me. It's like, you know, I just, it, it's hard to comprehend that they even basically give you that type of MO. Um, but, you know, it seems to me that. You know, this started when the, all the breakdowns were happening with all the big entrepreneurs over there. If, if, you, if you stop the entrepreneurs, if you stop the cash flow, folks, you can think of nothing else. That's what's going to happen, man. I mean, that, that's just business, right? Do you know what I mean? You start, if you think you can, you can break that down and you think that the government alone can do something, um, I just think they're dreaming, man. So we'll see how it, it shakes out. But 
uh, each day right now. They're, they're trying to, you know, prop up the market and with that, you know, no shot selling, this, that. None of that stuff works, folks. The market, markets are more powerful than any system I've seen out here, period. You know, they go higher than you think, and they go lower than you think. And they just go, man. And that's all our thinking at the exact same time. And wherever that thinking goes, guess what? <laughs> if it's going up, good. You can go for the ride. If it's going down and you go shot, yeah, you can do it. But if it's going down, then protect yourself. Because the bottom line is that it's how we feel each and every day what we do with the shares, what we do with the money, and all of the above. And how we feel in the future. Yeah. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks.